Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'll discuss how we can import TradingView data into your Python terminal. So as you all know, TradingView offers real-time data feeds for almost all countries, stock, forex, future, crypto, indices, bonds, and economy. So this is a huge data set. So if we can able to import the data for stocks into our Python terminal, then we can overcome the limitation of TradingView. So there are so many ways to do that. So I am going to discuss the easiest way how we can import TradingView data into your Python terminal. So here you can download the historical data as well as real time data feeds uh, for any particular time frame you can import uh, into your Python terminal and as well as you can save it as a CSV or JSON at whatever file type you want. So if you try to develop some applications like uh, some website or some android applications and there you need historical data as well as real time data feeds so this is the best platform as long as i know now here i am going to use one python module that is called tv data feeds so tv data feeds let me search in the google now the first link belongs to github page so let me go to the github and uh, here we will get the complete documentation here so if you want to know how they do it i mean how they import uh, trading view data into your python terminal then you have to read all these files so if you really interested then go to the tv data feeds and here you will get main.py so just open it and read it properly so everything is written here so how you can fetch the web socket and how e everything you can manage so i'm not going to analyze all these things so you can do it your own if you are interested in this video, I am just using this module to import the historical data for any stocks into our python. So first step, I have to install this uh, tv data feed into our system. So how we can install this tv data feed? Here is the command pip install tv data feed. So like the uh, every module, we are using pip command to install it. So let me copy it and let me go to our pycharm code editor and I will paste it here so to install this. So it will be installed here. So it's, it, it already uh, there into my system. So that's why it's uh, so quick. Now let me go to the documentation how we can use uh, this module to extract the data from trading view. So here the uses uh, first one from TV data feed import TV data feed and interval. So interval means uh, if you are looking for five minute data or ten minutes data or any any time interval, then you need interval. So let me copy it and paste it. Now from TV data feeds, we are importing TV data feed and interval. Now we have to log in into our uh, trading view account. So I have to pass username and password. That is the login credential. Now if you don't have any login ID, so you can either sign in by your mail ID or uh, you can skip it because this is not mandatory if you don't have username and password still you can able to collect the data from trading view account so i will skip it now here i am taking an instance actually i am creating an instance of trading uh, tv data feed uh, into a tv variable now now let me go to the documentation page and uh, we will find some example here so here let me copy it and paste it here so now for the first example is the index data so nifty index data if you want to get then you have to use this command tv dot get history so first you have to pass the index name that is the symbol and then exchange then interval so interval in this format interval dot in underscore one underscore hour that is a one hour interval so if you want one minute data then you have to take one minute so in this way you can set the interval and number of bars so here we have to provide the last number of bars uh, if i give here thousand then it will give the last thousand bar data if you are, if i am taking here uh, 5000 then it will give us last 5000 bar data so let me take 10000 let me see how long it will give us the data 
now let me check the interval value so how we can uh, take the interval so let me go to the documentation page and we will see the complete list of interval are available here so so here we can get the complete list of interval so for 1 minute we have to write this for 3 minute 5 minute 15 minutes actually whatever time frame is available in trading view it's available there so here up to from 1 minute to uh, 1 month uh, you can scrap the data so look at here 1 minute to uh, interval in monthly so uh, we can extract the data for monthly as well as daily weekly monthly and all the time frame whatever is available so let me go to the pie chart so first one is the symbol then exchange then time frame and then number of bar here i am taking 10000 so let's see how much they will allow so let me comment out for uh, now let me print nifty index data and let's run python space main so you can notice here you are using no login method that means i am not giving here the login credential so i just skip it that's why it's written like that otherwise it it won't show so here i am getting the data for nifty look at here in nsc nifty uh, look at here here 6000 row so it will allow 6000 row in one minute time frame so here 915 916 917 uh, like that so here we can see the one minute data time frame uh, for nifty now we will check for future contract now here for future contract uh, the same command tv dot get history here is a symbol exchange interval and number of bars and future contract one so one means the current expiry so look at here if i if i search for bank nifty or nifty now if we take future then we will see so one is the current expiry two means the next contract that is the next expiry so in this way we can differentiate so here i am taking the current expiry data that is one otherwise we we have to provide as two so let me print the data so i have to replace it nifty future data now let's run it now look at here nsc nifty 1 so this is the current expiry data for future here i am take i am getting 1000 row because we mention 1000 1000 number of bars is equal to 1000 if i increase the number of bars then we will get the mode data so here also i am getting the open high low close data for nifty future now let me hide it now let me look for the uh, historical data for stock so i am taking tv dot get history symbol let me take as a sbin and exchange nsc and interval one hour and number of bars let me take 500 or 5000 and extended session if it is after market hour then we will take false so let me print the data so let me print the data now here we are getting the data for sbin so here it, it is a 9 15 10 15 so here i am taking one hour data that's why one hour time interval we are getting the data so in this way if we provide the stock name then we will get the historical data for that particular stock whatever is available in trading view we can scrap it we can import it into our python so we have to provide the stock name as well as exchange interval number of bar and if it is future then we have to provide the future contract so one means current future data current month future data two means next expiry data so if we provide the right input then we will get the right data
now we have the data we can easily store this data into our system for that we have to import pandas as pd and we have to take extended price data dot to csv and we have to pass the file name so let me take sbin dot csv so if i run this command then that this data will save uh, in the name of sbi dot csv file so let me run this file again and let me check we are in trading view uh, folder so let me go to the trading view folder and here it's sbin uh, dot csv so this is the data so i have stored into our system now we can access this data from our drive or if we develop some uh, applications where we need historical data in this way we can fetch it so in this way we can import historical data from trading view into python so hope you like it if you like my videos then please subscribe my channel and please be with me thank you thanks for watching me